Hello, everybody out there on YouTube. We are the Middle Age Guys, and we are coming you again to bullshit about, and I mean bullshit, about the Atari box, which is now known as the Atari VCS. Okay, before the rant starts, let me just introduce ourselves. I am the Reverend. The theme here. And I'm Gray Mouse One. Okay, GDC, Game Developers Conference 2018, was held last weekend. Uh, let's see here. Basically, over the course of the 17th, 18th, and 19th of uh, March 2018, uh, last week, uh, Atari was at the GDC, and uh, they had people at their booth, and they made a big, uh, big announcement that um, the Atari box, which people have long have been hearing about, and uh, for easily the past, what, six months now? Uh, you know, uh, six months, actually more than six months now that I think about it, because their, their grand, their grand Kickstarter theme was, uh, run was supposed to start back in October and that's, yeah, Indiegogo, that was supposed to start back in October. That, that's, that's a good, um, that's good six months ago. So, well, it's been over a year. Yeah. So it's been about a year since. Since we've had rumblings of Atari saying that they would go, they're going back into the um, into the console race, all right, and then they unveiled their their whole thing, and they started up email uh, campaigns, and they started up going ahead and and sending out videos and pictures of prototypes and stuff like that. Well, the folks at GDC and the folks who actually went out of their way uh, to look at it were like, "Hey, look, this looks like a really slick system, all right, but we don't know what it does." In fact, here is a headline from Engadget, who, you know, out of, you know, most of the mainstream uh, uh, industry websites, I'm not a fan of a lot of them, but Engadget is usually pretty good and pretty partial. Uh, their, whole, uh, <laughs> their whole title line reads, Atari shows its non-functional VCS console prototype at GDC 2018, which... In a nutshell, if you see any of the YouTube videos that are out there from folks who are actually at GDC and have actually seen the Atari box in person, put hands on it, you know, looked at the uh, the retro controller and then the new updated modern controller and everything else, all of them said the same thing. Hey, this looks pretty slick, but we don't know what it does. Nobody knows what it does. All right. Um, and the whole change to the VCS... Uh, well, that's, if, if nothing says we're trying to market on nostalgia more than that, uh, well, it's, yeah, uh, um, we've had thoughts on this, uh, but guys, before I get into anything really deeper or too ranting, uh, what are your thoughts on this one? Do we really have to say anything more? I mean, come on. We, we gave our reasons as to why that this wasn't going to be a big thing to look forward to. And it still isn't. I mean, hell, look, I still have, I still have a 2600, Atari 2600, you know. An actual VCS. That plays cartridges with the joystick <coughs> on my CRT TV that's right over there, okay? Still works, still play it. I just... <laughs> It's just a damn shame that it went the way that it did. Because again, I would love to see another company enter the console race and to be taken seriously. Especially bring out some new exclusives, some new games, some new titles to take our fucking money. But this is not something that's going to do so. Gray Mouse, what are your thoughts? I have a lot of thoughts, actually. Um, ever since it's... Uh um beginning uh i always had doubt i mean how many times has atari switched hands since the 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 early 80s you know i could count at least five and atari and what what's what i am concerned about is that this is not the atari that you remember as a kid on the 2600 it's not the same people it's it they're so far removed from it at this point in time and they have nothing to do with it. And there's this this innovation of it. They're just trying to sell it by its name. And that's not enough. 
It, it really isn't. Um, and then, so the Kickstarter was supposed to go in October, and they pulled back on that, what, a week or two weeks before? No, a week. Like five the days. Day of, the, day the day of. The day of. It, it was like of where it was supposed to go live, talk about one key component was not available for it to work. So from October to now, what's that? That's about seven months, if, if my calculations, okay, calculations are correct. Six. Maybe even a maybe even little bit longer. Um, so you're telling me that from then and then now, you still don't have a working prototype? And you expect people to jump on and give you money? Are you fucking insane? You, it, it, it blows my mind. I, I mean, it, I, I don't understand. I cannot, I, I cannot, and I will not support this until I see some, something that works, something that don't even know what games it's going to have. Yeah, it's going to emulate Atari 2600 games or Atari games for that matter. But what, what other things are they going to be I, I, other than a, a top set box that sits Underneath my TV with all my other uh, uh, consoles that I have that I've been collecting since I was, you know, since I was a kid. It, it just makes no sense to me, and I'm definitely not going to support this at all. I mean, it, the I think this they're trying to um, what is it? Trying to tug at the nostalgia thing that's been going on for the last two or three years but somebody didn't uh somebody needs to tell atari that you know people have moved on from that i i that that the the the, what is it the top of the nostalgia the big nostalgia thing has has long since passed and we're on the on the on the downside of it now people want newer new things I just don't see any point in me investing three hundred dollars, which I could buy a fucking another switch for that amount. That I know that I get good quality games out of it and original games out of it. That's just my opinion. I got other modern machines that I can get games for and put my money for than this thing. It's just the way I'm. I, I, I'm not trying to be cynical or anything. I'm just being truthful. I got machines in the past that I could put my money to. No, yeah, me too. I mean, I, I could my increasing, growing collection here of 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 games that I've had and games that I couldn't get during their lifetimes. I could put that money into them. At least I know that. At least I know when I turn it on, I'll know what I'm playing or what it does. How do you go to How do you go to the game developers conference? without a working prototype, and then talk, give me money. It, I, I, what? I, I mean, I believe in capitalism, but my God. No, they're, they're not capitalizing. <laughs> <laughs> everything, no. is lower, everything is lowercase from this at this point. No. What? No, you're not getting my money. No. You don't have a working prototype. What does it do? I don't know. What games is it going to play? I don't know. It's just here. Look, look at the the real wood grained outfit on it. Look at it. it doesn't that remind you? The yeah, look at the wood. It can play old Atari games. Wait, um, every computer and even smartphone can do that now. So, I I really don't understand. <sighs> But you can't get a wood grain on. Wait, wait a minute. Atari hasn't been Atari ever since. I mean, not even when the Jaguar came out, Atari wasn't Atari anymore. Well, that's what I was saying. Atari no, has not been Atari about, since. Yeah, for this. Yeah. But Atari hasn't been. If, if people are going to get it for nostalgic reasons, wait a minute. There are the Atari flashbacks, and there are even Atari collections that are on the modern console. So I, I don't understand why they would come out with this for nostalgic purposes and not anything totally, totally new in the market. It is a pipe. Dream. Was any third party support announced for this thing? No. Exactly. It's a pipe dream. I like you said, I could get that Atari flashback from uh from freaking All seven of them. From and freaking it, uh and uh that up will co- probably cost less than this and you'll I, get used for it. Yeah, I could get that from Target or Walmart <laughs> for what, twenty dollars? And you expect me to pay thirty? 
No. Are you going to pay? expect me to play or pay 300 or, or 300 I meant. That's it. Yeah. Right. No. Rev, do you have any more thoughts? Seriously. <laughs> because we went through this. And now that they had presented this, and for all you motherfuckers out there <sighs> that you know, try to that try to steer this in the positive again. I mean, look at this. It's it's fucking laughable. This it, it's it's is this a joke? It, it, or, or, this is a bad joke. This this is at a point to where the the comedian needs to hang up and find another career path. Joke. All right. Here's here's what's going on. Okay. Um. Do I have any more thoughts on this? I do. None of them are positive. Okay, let me just put it, put it out there right now. All right. Look, them going back to the well, back to day one, backpedaling all the way where they have to sit there and say, oh, remember what the original Atari was called? For all you really smart gamers, it wasn't the 2600. It was the VCS. Now we're going to go ahead and actually attach that to us to give us to some sort of fucking legitimacy. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you. Okay. No, fuck you twice. All right. Look. Like I said before in previous other videos, all right, and I'm talking to you assholes out there who are going to be watching this and saying, oh, you guys don't want to give the original video game company fucking love. I'm not. You know why? Because this is not them. This is, all right? yeah, yeah, this is not the fucking Bushnells. In fact, guess what? GDC themselves, they decided to go ahead and retract the Pioneer Award that were, they were going to go ahead and give to Nolan Bushnell this year because of the fucking Me Too movement. <laughs> And the Time's Up movement, all right? So you can sit there, you can tell me Fred Chesnay's and Infograms, these motherfuckers who are asking, who are, just a few months ago were asking motherfuckers to kickstart, not, not kickstart, but go ahead and invest oh, no. and crowd, crowdfund fucking, fucking roller co coaster tycoon to go onto the Switch, where if you went ahead and you invested $250 you were eligible for 25% off the retail price of fucking Roller Coaster Tycoon to go to the fucking Switch, all right? Hey, the, wait, I've already paid tribute. Okay, okay. look, like I said, that is the Atari VCS. Whatever the fuck they went ahead, they brought to, to, to GDC 2018 is a fucking box with LED lights on it with wood grain finish, and that's it, okay? <laughs> Look, and you're sitting there, you're telling me that, oh, yeah, well, it's got, it's got PC fucking internals. It's going to be running Linux. Have you, can you tell me the last time game-worthy drivers have been on a Linux system? The Steam boxes were running Linux, and guess what? They had all the real money be of Valve behind them. How fucking successful were they? Seriously, no. Every time I sit there and I, I, I talk about this and some asshole is, goes ahead and they, they pipe in, oh, you're just being a hater. No, I'm not. I'm being a fucking realist, all right? I'm somebody who's entrenched in this bullshit, all right? I am part of the industry. I am employed in the fucking industry, all right? I know how it fucking works, okay? And you're sitting there and you're telling me that these assholes want to go ahead and get away with crowdfunding a fucking a, a console, with no third-party support, that nobody who's outside of their company who's put their hands on the fucking thing, on the console, or on the controller, or actually seen the funny fucking unit itself, the only thing that they can say about it is that they don't know what the fuck it does other than the fact that the fucking LED, uh, the, the Atari logo up on front fucking lights up when you put power to it. Don't forget, it's an Xbox controller, too. Uh, I don't get that. <laughs> It, it could be whatever fucking controller. It, I mean, it could be it could be some throwaway <laughs> Ouya controller for for all I know. All right, they went ahead and they 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 replaced one of the fucking circular pads on the analog stick, so there's a bright fucking red, like the no. single red joystick button on the Atari on the Atari consoles from back then. But guess what? I would have a better time going out of my way searching for individual fucking components. All right, of an Atari VCS. Okay. At flea markets. You know what makes this most... Desoldering those things, putting them back together by fucking hand, scotch tape and duct tape and super glue. 
You know what makes this And at the end of all of that, I would have something working and more functional than what the fuck showed up at at the VCS at the VCS fucking booth at GDC 2018. You know what makes anybody out there prove me wrong on that. You know what makes it worse is the fact that they're using old school name, the original name of the Atari. It, it's it's it's, it's fucking desperate. It's fucking it's desperate. Fun. It's like it's it's, it's like sitting there going out out of the way and saying, "Oh oh oh, Gray Mouse, Gray Mouse, Gray Mouse, Gray Mouse. Uh, what what's the name of your your, your favorite child? Oh oh, I, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna name I'm gonna name my game after your favorite child. Please buy it. <laughs> Team, what's what's the one thing that you love in all the world? What's the one thing you love in all the world? Oh, I can go ahead. and I can call this this console Intercourse 2000. All right, I'm still not gonna fucking buy it. I think the coup de grace that really, really offended me about all of this is to say that yes, you can play your 2600 games with it. Wait a minute, <laughs> people have been doing that on computers for the last two decades minimum. I was gonna say, yeah. man, you might as well pull that back to thirty, about thirty years, man. <laughs> no, because computers weren't all that great. That's the point. That's what I'm saying. But no, it doesn't take much to take those ROMs and play those ROMs. Is the point? No, but, but my point is, you're telling me that shit that motherfuckers have already most most likely have right now. You're telling me that's its selling point. You're, you're that, telling me that's the that selling point. Work. Like twenty six hundred games. The prototype don't work. Wait well, a minute. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. If they're going to say that that's what they're going to be able to do, and I'm like, wait a second here. You're telling me that a selling point is some shit that we already got, or that it's easily capable to begin be getting. Even then, even here's the thing. Here is the scary thing about to think about that. Okay, is that even then at that point, they're saying it's going to run Linux. They're saying it's going to run old school Atari games and that it's going to be capable of running more modern games. However, at the GDC 2018, where they could have had the best showing the, the biggest opportunity to go ahead and give out any new bright information that nobody else has seen before. All right. What do they have? A fucking wood grain box with LEDs on it that lit up when you put power to the fucking thing. Okay. Anybody who had questions, who looked at the thing, played around with the thing, they couldn't even confirm whether or not the, con- the controllers that were actually there could actually sync up to the fucking console that was in front of them. Because guess what? Those controllers were prototypes too. So, so I mean, so there, how much, how much there is nothing from people already. Nothing. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. They shouldn't be getting any, any, any money from anybody if they want to be taken seriously in the first fucking place. No. All right. I, I've said that from day one. They shouldn't be. Be, be going ahead and looking at, at crowdfunding this fucking thing. All right. Mm-hmm. They want to be considered a, an actual competitor. All right. They, they shouldn't be doing that anyways. Okay. Number two, even, even at that point where you're crowdfunding anything from the very fucking beginning. All right. The one thing that is, that has had me in trepidation in reserve about this. Okay. And then turn from re- reservation to all out. No, do not, don't I uh, know this is not something I want to go ahead and touch is that nothing has come from Atari themselves as something proof positive is that this is what it does. This is what's under the hood. All right. Nothing proof positive at all. Okay. All we've gotten so far was video renders, some prototypes that light up when you put power on to them. Okay. You have, you have pictures you don't have video. You have pictures. They're like, oh, look, the, the Atari box playing games. They don't even show the back of the fucking console to see if it's even hooked up to the, to the fucking TV. It could be a fucking PC sitting underneath running LaunchBox, okay, with the fucking Atari cartridges on the, on the front end. So basically, it's a car, the outer shell, maybe some fake-ass wheels that, you know, that say good yar on them, not good year. Tires don't say good ear. And <clears throat> basically, you don't look under the hood. You don't see, you don't know if it has an engine. You don't wait again. Well, no, look, look. You know what tells you the most information? There's a reason why it's not on Kickstarter. There's a reason why it's oh, on it's Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Because yeah. Kickstarter would not allow this monstrosity piece of shit 
that was showed at GDC to ever get anywhere. Indiegogo, they don't care. All you got to do is have a, a, a picture of 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 a prototype. Then they'll they'll allow you to do whatever you want. I mean, I, yeah. you look, look. Out of the three of us, we could come up we could come up with something more sophisticated than what they showed at the GDC this year. Yeah, and that's because, sad. Yeah, because we give a fuck about gaming. No, no, no. I'm I, no. I'm talking about somebody who don't know anything about you know developing a a console. We could come up with something. Yeah, because we more sophisticated than them. This is just a money grab. Haven't wait, 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 wait. Aren't this, isn't this the same company that still owes people money for their failed other project? What was that other project? There's something else that they did here in the last couple of years. Uh, all I know is that this is a damn shame. No, yeah. it's a scam. This is a yeah. fucking scam. If you can't see scam written all over this shit, then and you know what? It's a scam. It's I'm, a money I'm, scam. You know what? It's worse than the fucking oh. the, the it's, it's worse than the pyramid scheme. Uh, okay, look, I'm not even gonna take the high road in this. We told you so. For all you motherfuckers out there that were saying things otherwise, and were saying that we were just fanboys or whatever or whatever in Atari, and you don't know his history and things like that, even though we explained that shit on the video, even though we, even though I pulled out my fucking Atari 2600, the first three to fucking five minutes of that shit. Again, we told you so. What's that old cliche about a fool and his money? Uh, I, don't, I don't even give a I'm, fuck. I'm just saying. I, 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 I don't I, even I, give I, I'm just going to say it like that until I close out with credits. I think yeah, we need to do so. that. I, I think we need to do the credits. Let's let's. let's <laughs> Yeah, um, here, here's the thing, folks. All right, uh, if, you, <laughs> if you stayed with us up until this point, thank you very much. Um, yeah, Atari, uh, in their current form, uh, in their current form, all right, uh, you know, now wants the Atari box to be known as the Atari VCS in a very, very sad, sad attempt to tug at your nostalgic heartstrings. Um Here's the thing, whether or not you're a fan of the old Atari company as it was a long, long time ago, or whether or not something like that, you know, evokes heartfelt feelings from your childhood or whatnot, uh, the truth of the matter is, is that folks who are putting together this thing that they brought over to GDC 2018, they are not the same people, all right? It is not the same company. Not only that, but guess what? You know... The, the 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 thing about it is that, like I've said multiple times in in, in other videos, uh, and probably in less vitriolic uh, states, is that um, unfortunately, right now the best that any any the best that anybody at all can say about this thing is that it's a slick looking device, but nobody knows what the fuck it does. All right, and I'm sorry, you cannot convince me. And I hope you can't convince anybody else of sound, reasonable mind that if your device, which nobody has any idea what it fucking does, is worth $300 and that it's going to be the next big console force in the video game industry. All right. That's, and that's just how that is. Okay. Um, yeah. But like always, folks, uh, let me go ahead and ask you. What do you think about it? What do you think about uh, the development for the Atari box as it is, as little of the information that's shown up, up, the fact that they've changed the name to the VCS, they don't want to be called the Atari box anymore, uh, that they've shown off those prototype controllers and other stuff like that. <coughs> you can tell us your thoughts on all that by leaving this comment below. While you're at it, uh, mash on that like button. We'd really appreciate it. If you really didn't like the video as it stands, you can go ahead and hit dislike. I'm not going to blame you. Uh, regardless of that, if you're really interested in what we're doing here and you like what we're doing, you want to stick around, I do encourage you to go ahead and hit subscribe, turn on those notifications, and you'll know whenever any of us go ahead and drop out a new video on YouTube. All right. With all of that, um, 
Yeah, this bullshit right here, this ends. All right. I'm the Reverend. The theme here. And I'm Grey Mouse One. Once again, for the benefits of common sense, logic, and gaming, something that the Atari VCS doesn't have any of uh, credits. Oh.